Hi fellow ASPers, my name is Katie Sav Murphy. I am one of the adult volunteers. I'm going to show you today how to make your wreath. So the first thing you have to do each time is to remove the tag right here. So you just hold the wire and just rip the tag off like that. Okay? And then you take the extra wire that was off the tag. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. You just kind of tuck it into the branches. Nice and easy. So that you can't see it. Okay? All right, now, from here, you want to find the best spot to put your uh, bow and your pine cones. So I like to find the spot that's kind of most centered and can give me the, the easiest way to go around the wreath. So I think it's kind of right there. And then you take your hanger doodle, also known as a pipe cleaner, but a hanger doodle, and you're going to wrap it around like this. There we go. And you're going to twist the top just a few times, maybe two or three twists, so that you have room for your fingers right there, okay? So you want to make sure that you can shake it, like I'm doing right now, and make sure it doesn't fall. This is so. Um, this is what gets is hang, uh, the wreath is hanged on by, um, so you want to make sure it's nice and sturdy, okay? Now the next step is your bow. Whatever bow you're using... I have the red on red right now. There's going to be four wires in the back. You're going to split those into two. Uh -oh. Sorry. There we go. Split that into two like that. And you're going to, right on top of your hanger doodle, place the bow and then the wires come around the back, they're in my hand, I know they're green on green, you can't quite see it, but the wire is in my hand, and then you're gonna twist them together, just like this, so nice and tight, okay? And just, again, just like two or three twists, nice and tight, and then you kind of tuck the rest of the wires into the back, all right? So now we have our bow. All right, now the next thing that you wanna do is cone, um, like picking all of your pine cones. You need 10 pine cones in total for each wreath, four sets of doubles, and two singles. So it's going to go double, double, single, and double, double, single on each side, okay? So you want kind of a larger set of doubles, a medium set of doubles, and then a small single, and then the same on this side. Um, and you kind of want the two sides to be equal to each other um, so that it looks symmetrical and it looks nice. So I've gone ahead and picked my pine cones. Um, I like to pick for the whole wreath at once so I know what the wreath is going to look like. So I have this set right here. So there's my bigger double, my medium double, and my single. And then again, a bigger double, a medium double, and a single. Okay. Now these have already been wired. Um, if, you're not, if you're not sure how to wire them, we do have that other video. But make sure they are wired tight. If they became loose, go ahead and rewire them because they will fall off later. Uh, but make sure they're tight. You can't really move them. Um, a little bit of movement is okay, but not like that they're flopping around. See, that's not flopping around. All right. So I have the two wires in the back here. Again, you can't really see it. My apologies there. All right. So pine cone placement is pretty important. The top of your pine cones should be underneath the bottom bow, just like that. Okay, not all the way up so that the bow should be able to lay flat. I think that's the most important part. The bow should be able to lay flat and not coming up. Okay, lay flat, but the pine cone should rest nicely in there. All right, so the first set, just like we did with the bow, you're going to take the two wires separate from each other and then wrap it around the wreath. And then again, in the back, just make sure they are tight on there. I lost my wire. Sometimes you lose your wire, and that's okay. Just try again. There we go. So you go tight. Sorry about that. Let's try this again.
There we go. All right, I was being a little finicky. Sorry about that. All right, and you just tuck those bars back in. All right, so now we have our first set of pine cones. Again, it's laying flat. The bow is fine. And it's nice and flat against the wreath, okay? Then we take our next medium set. So they should be smaller than the first set. So they're gonna lie, they're gonna kinda nestle in right underneath that other set of pine cones, just like that, okay? So again, you take the two wires in the back. It's hard doing it from this angle. And you tie it quite tightly. All right. You can kind of just separate them out so they lay flat against the wreath there. Okay. Then you take your single, same thing. It's going to nestle nicely in between, just like that. And you twist the wire around in the back. I always pull once when I get my wires and then and then start twisting so that you know it's going to be tight. Okay, now you have one side. Nice and easy. All right. Just like that. All right, now we're going to do the other side. Same thing. We're gonna start with our bigger set. And these came a little bit loose, so I'm gonna rewire them real quick. Sometimes that happens. So you just pull nice and tight and then twist. Give it three twists and then there we go. All right, so we go, again we go underneath the corner of the bow, the bottom bottom um, loop, the corner of that loop. That's where we want those pine cones to sit. And we go around, pull those wires nice and tight, and give it a few twists. Okay. And then we go with our medium set. Again, they, they're going to go right underneath. Sometimes you can lift up and put them in there. And pull hard and three twists. One, two, and three. Good. Let me get to tuck those wires in. Okay. And then again with our other single, it's smaller, and we're going to nestle it right in there so it lays flat against the wreath. Pull hard, and one, two, and three. All right, so there we have an ASP wreath. You're going to Make the bow nice and pull out and fluffed up. Give it a shake from the hanger doodle, make sure everything stays. And you're done. A wreath in under 10 minutes.